This is a hardware overview of our two-channel ProXR Lite USB relay controller. This USB relay controller features two onboard relays. Uh, shown here are the 10 amp version, but we have them available in 5 amp. We also have 20 amp, 30 amp, and solid state. Uh, here we have three connections per relay. We have normally open, common, and normally closed. That will allow you to wire up a light so that it's normally on or normally off and the light will change state when the relay activates. Here we have two uh, relay status LEDs. These status LEDs indicate the on off status of each of the relays. You can connect two uh, wires to this controller for powering it. Uh, this is a 12 volt input designed specifically to give you the ability to make your own wire connections to the controller or you can use our 2.1 millimeter barrel jack. This is our 8 channel A to D input. This allows 8 channels of analog to digital conversion. In other words, it can read voltages from 0 to 5 volts in 8 bit or 10 bit resolution. That allows you to connect to very, various kinds of sensors to this controller, or you can map these inputs to control the relays. So if you need direct control of the relays through a manual input, you can map these inputs to control these relays in just about any way you might want. Here we have a program run jumper. Normally this program run jumper will stay in run mode, but if the settings of this controller ever uh, are, are ever incorrect and you need to recover them, uh, you can set this jumper over to the configuration mode, power it up and run our base station software, and you can recover the settings without any problem. The up-down jumper is tied to the A to D inputs. The A to D inputs must never be left floating, uh, so we use a 10K resistors built into the board to pull these inputs high or low, uh, and you can control the high or low status of these inputs with this jumper. Here we have a busy ready LED. The LED is normally in ready mode, but if uh, the controller receives a command, it will f uh, switch over to the busy mode and then back to ready after it's completed with the command. This controller has the USB uh, interface module installed. Uh, you can change this USB interface to just about any kind of interface uh, that you could ever want. We've got Ethernet, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi. Um, we've got RS-232. We have industrial wireless. Many, many different kinds of interface modules are available for this controller. So if you ever get tired of using USB or if your needs change, you can pull out this interface and change it to something else. And last but not least, we have an ad hoc jumper. This ad hoc jumper is used exclusively for our Wi-Fi modules to put it in ad hoc mode. The USB version of this controller does not need that ad hoc jumper, so it's not shown on this board. This is kind of an unusual profile uh, for this controller. It's designed to fit in a uh, plastic enclosure. So each of these holes are drilled specifically for location in the, in the plastic enclosure. However, if you, need, uh, if you need a smaller profile and you don't need to put it in an enclosure, a plastic enclosure, you can pull these uh, tabs off. These tabs just bend them back and forth and they break off. So we've got this tab will break off, this tab will break off, and this tab will break off. And that will make the controller smaller so it can fit in a, in a tighter space should you ever need it. I think that about covers it for this controller. If you have any questions, please let us know. We would be glad to help you out. Thank you.